Okay. This way. Got a few more side quests. History of magic class. Is this gonna be another slideshow or am I actually gonna learn something? In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Yeah. Why are they letting it Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. I do have to wonder why is a ghost teaching? Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Eirgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? Okay. I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Okay. Curious students can find him on his way here in the fall. Rebellion! Oh, there. Accio! Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbold Weft. Why didn't you tell us it was just his skull? Well, of course he's just a skull. Everyone knows Grimbold Weft died of dragon box in 1753. Of course, everyone. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. So, standing an eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower. A retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues. Sir Afpadon, this he is a centuries old life. Of your companion, Revelio. I find that comforting. His fame was not. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpadon. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. 
So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Yeah. Goblins and wizard kind will never trust each other. Yes, well, it takes a cauldron to raise a chispurfle, as they say. Mm. I guess that's History the thing. does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns. A thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Yay. History is written that was by those probably who do the most boring work. quest I've done. Should be around there somewhere. Oh, cowboy. <sighs> There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I won't be surprised when he inevitably either makes N worse or kills her on accident. Sebastian! A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Veldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Lie by omission. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? That's the point. Sebastian. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Of course. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Okay. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, He's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. Mm. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. Okay. See you soon. Okay, 
Come to think of it, I don't think I've unlocked what that third slot's for. What is it? Right up here, this. Looks like a ground mount or, of some kind, maybe? I've got to be nearing the end of the game, and I haven't unlocked that yet? I can do this. I can do this. They... At least we're out of the class. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. <coughs> I'd say both of these statements can be true at the same time, so... I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. No, we'll meet I'm with not. Them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- And... Centaur? Centaur. Was that one holding a bow like a club? He was holding it by like the bottom handle or something. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Yep. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it, and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Okay. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? Do they and evolve why in Clefable? Is he so certain about where we could find one? He yeah. could have been a bit clearer or stayed a moment and answered our questions. Centaurs can be cryptic. Grant says no one talks more in circles than a centaur. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. Okay. I'll let you know what I find. 
Revelio. this quest and then call it for this episode. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This day's gone on too long. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Okay. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing well, games I, I with you. You need to press them for it, more information. The, it doesn't it was, work like the that. The emotions were taken to out of the each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular power. order. They so Ranrock's power Either they is don't trust a. you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... that's not what I meant. I... We're just not getting answers. I need answers. For Anne. I know. Now, should we see why the triptych led us here? If we don't want Let's to drive go, people quickly, away, then don't drive them away. It's that simple. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Imperial! Akio! Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Do they, though? Thestrals overhead? Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I mean, you could, though. I bet the Thestral Nest is close by. Kill any who trespass! Wait! We should have some sort of plan! I'm through planning. Plan! Attack! I That was meant for me! I've been fighting since before. Ah. No, How? Yeah. They got what they deserve. Revelio. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed, but I didn't. Yeah. Looks like Ranrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. I mean, I was going to do it anyway, so I don't know why the game's forcing Ranrock's me to have Ranrock's going to make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Re 
ridiculous notions of ownership. Well, I mean, How nice you think you own your wand, I'm not sure why, but I think it's a notion. Granted, these are meant to be, like, teenage kids, and I'm almost 30, so... I have more life experience and more thought put into my life than these people would have. I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrog's got that right. Imperial needs to help him achieve his goals in that regard. This must be it. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. It's not that. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said. Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. Yep. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And that I have been for a like while. A real apology I to me. do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Hello. Why are you alive? Oh, hello. <laughs> First time I've seen that combo. That's a cool one. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Revelio. Kundrigo. Kundrigo. One nudge in that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. Okay. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner.
Annoying little beasts, aren't they? Way too plentiful. Staircase leading here. Whatever. I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit rebellious, me. Imperial. Search for runes. Okay. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Oh. Couldn't bring up. Can't get out of here quick enough. Like how rocks falling should work, but okay. It should not be like a drawbridge, it should have fallen to pieces. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. Revelio. Oh, Reparo. Reparo. That was a piece of work. More than one. Revelio. I don't care enough about it. 
two out of another one. barrier. We can blast through. The pulse. Ah, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Feel more and more cute. This is purple. Okay. So. Good news. Revenge. This journal entry sounds worrisome. Good for you. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us. That doesn't mean that only she did anything here. Revelio. Okay, so I have two there. Oh. Another rune symbol. The ball seller should be fluent in runic language by now. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. So terror, just won't help me and tried to make her understand she is like the opposite of Okay, so this is after the memory. Okay. I know from the memories I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Well, she'd need to leave a pensive. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Okay, so... Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Definitely something. I'm just not sure what. It's like, because what happened to Isadora Morganach? I do not believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Ah, the painting. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder. What is it? Let's find out. Bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Honestly, that saying to me without the knowledge of her having ancient magic would just come across as Please, I'm taking out old Yeller. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Okay. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Okay. And this is from her perspective. Isadora. Pain. 
Thank you. Okay. And what happens afterwards? I worked. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Okay. Well, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. <gasps> okay. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. It's not... The question isn't about whether I can. It's should. But... Please. Talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Well, there was some rather bad clipping. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? If I have the option to discuss with them, I will do that right now. Come on. Any pop-up? Oh, it's main story stuff, okay. So I'll leave that till the next episode then.